a fisherman who would row his dory through the surf, go out to sea, catch local seafood, and come back through the surf and sell it to the public. Started in 1891 by a fisherman that was tired of selling to the wholesalers, so he started a little kind of a farm type market uh, to the public. Um, and then it kind of took off, and, and it's been going since 1891. Um, I was going to Cal Poly. I went uh, there as a pole vaulter and got into Cal Poly. And, uh, pole vaulter? Yeah, yeah, in high school and in college. So that, that kind of started the path. And then from there, I um, got a job after college uh, in sales and marketing. And I had relatives from the Azores uh, that were fishermen. And I was, heard stories of, uh, of them going to sea and whaling and fishing. And uh, I was always, I always loved the sea. I'm still doing the sales thing, and, and so I take my weekends and, uh, and holidays and, and fish, and uh, one day he calls me and says, hey, Steve, you got any money set aside? And I had a little bit, uh, he, and he was going through bankruptcy, and he was losing his business. So mm -hmm. I ended up buying a locker and two boats, two dory boats, and um, here, here at, the, at the dory fleet, and, um, and that kind of started my, my journey into the dory fishing fleet. Mm -hmm. I called her what and said, uh, I'm getting ready, I'm gonna quit on Monday. Um, I'm just gonna fish. And she's like freaking out because, you know, company car and benefits and insurance and a salary and commission uh, all go away. I had fished lobster for a couple of years, so I, I, I knew I knew how to fish and I, I and I was fishing long line with uh, with Bill, the guy I bought the business from. Um, so I kind of knew it and, and I just saw that there was a lot of potential there. Yeah, my wife had worked for Nordstrom and, and they were big on customer service and uh, and being in the corporate world, I also saw what customer service and consistency and um, and we had a great product, so, you know, fresh seafood. So I, I just saw potential there and, you know, initially it was a little slow and then it, uh, then it picked up. Initially, we would uh, we'd get up, we'd, the boat would be all uh, gassed up. I'd have tubs of gear baited up with thousands of hooks, um, and they'd be in the freezer ready to go. So um, if the weather looked good, um, we'd jump in the truck, come down to the, to the, to the beach with the boat, a four-wheel drive truck, launch the uh, boat through the surf, and head out to sea in the dark. That was always a challenge. Is, on a little boat, a little 20-foot boat, you know, being 40 or 50 or 60 miles off the beach in the middle of the night. Um, I mean, there were a couple times where I was, I was shaking. I was so scared because, you know, if you lose your engine out there, you're done. <laughs> you're done. And, and we've lost a few guys over the years. You have good days and bad days. You have days when you lose all your gear. You have days when a shark bites your gear off, and yeah, it's, it's it's just it's total gamble, total gamble. The longer you do it, the more confidence you get, and that, and that so that's how I started. And then I always had a, a lobster permit, and I did crab as well. And eventually, I just went into crab because that's much more consistent, much less of a gamble, um, not quite as lucrative as, as the fishing can be, but uh, at least it's consistent and something you can hang your hat on. Luckily, the market's been strong. The customers have been, you know, with the internet. I, I used to know 80 to 90 percent of my customers, and now I know about 10 percent. And when I ask them where they heard about us, it's all online. They heard about us on Facebook or Instagram, and uh, so we got new customers all the time. And it's it, the business has been good. Is it 100 percent a retail business? Everything's retail. Yeah. Everything. That'll never change. Hopefully not. Yeah, it's like a farmer's market on the beach, so, and, and customers. And we're fortunate also in this area to have a lot of uh, first and second generation immigrants from all over the world. Um, and, th and they put a high value on fresh seafood like this, so they're uh, our main customers. Those are your customers. Who are your, there's other dory fishermen at that? At... Sure, there, uh, there are uh, four families, that four of us that, that kind of fish there 
for the most part. And we all fish for different uh, different uh, items, different seafood. So, and it's the last, as, as I, it's the last remaining, is, is that correct, Dory Fisher? Market. So mar market, yeah. There's some dory fishermen up in Oregon that that launch to the surf and catch salmon, and I'm not sure how they sell it, but um, but this as far as a market being on the beach um, to the public um, for over 100 years, this is the only one. The biggest challenge is is probably sleep deprivation. Because I, I like say now I get my 40 hours in two days with very little sleep, and, and there's some issues with that. So um, I, I'm trying to be more mindful of that. Um, How long do you think you keep going? You know, I, I, I'm kind of toying with maybe hanging it up here pretty soon. And, and, uh, so you would sell the business? Yeah, yeah, perhaps, yeah. I mean, I, I like it because it's an honest occupation. It's a hard, you, you work hard. You. Um, and the nice thing about uh, the market is you have customers that come back and they, and they uh, tell you how they really enjoyed what you provided for them. So that's kind of rewarding in that respect that you could provide something that people like. And, um, and there's a lot of great stories of, you know, things that happened out at sea that are, that are kind of out of the ordinary. Well, yeah, yeah, a lot of hats. You have to be able to repair your boat. You have to be able to... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, if you have a deck in, you'll be a psychologist and try to work with them and, you know, and, and their uh, issues. And yeah, so there's a lot of hats you have to wear. But, but all in all, you know, um, you know, the sunrises never lose their magic. The sunsets, the whales, the dolphins. Um, it's, it's tough work, but there's something about it that gets in your blood and it's just hard to explain. No, no regrets. Yeah, yeah no regrets at all. Occasionally we uh, 